The mystery continues and I don't get a single step closer to solving it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm watching episode 54 of Dragon Ball Super today. And last episode, we were introduced to Zamasu, this otherworldly being that's next in line to become the Supreme Kai of that world or universe, who's kind of in training to become one, who doesn't have much of a liking towards mortals. And after meeting Goku, seems to dislike them even more since Goku kind of put him in his place. But again, we didn't get any closer to finding out like who Goku Black is or why he exists. So we just continue forward. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's hop into it. A new day duns. This music seems very intense for just a, a nice morning walk. Punks, take it easy, brother. Nobody's had their coffee yet. The morning dew is still on the grass. You're going down. No time for ominous thinking. I feel like the inevitable fight against Goku Black will deliver, though. If he's got, like, a decent amount of power-ups and whatnot. Damn it. Space juice! Right. That no way they poured it from just a regular beaker. My goodness. What if, it, what if the robot tripped and fell as it, as it was on its way to pour that in? I saw a Twitter thread that said Bulma was the most useless anime character. Like, it had, like, a decent amount of support behind it. Do people just not like her? She's, like, probably one of the smartest characters in any show I've watched. I mean, I think you guys could work together. Bro hit the keyboard for like 20 seconds and improved it. A lollipop! <laughs> Just staring at him. Image training. I mean, there's only so much you can do whenever you aren't able to just straight up just spar. That's why I said whenever Black came here, it was very important because Goku got an idea of, of who he was and how he fought. I think it was more beneficial for our side than, than Black's. He's focusing so hard, it's like it's really happening. So he actually bled just thinking about it? That's nuts. Oh my god! Stop! No, stop, stop. I know it's fake. Stop. Stop! Okay, thank god. I hate that it came came around full circle like that. Well, yeah, that's because you're imagining yourself alone. You have all these people around you now. Silly Billy. Oh, they're back. And... Not a very soft landing. I think that's his problem. He's like, oh, why, why wouldn't, why can't I beat him in this image training? Because it's just him there. I'm terribly sorry, my what? lord. Yeah, why did they crash like that? Two of you were bickering so loudly, I couldn't Weiss is sick of them. Oh, don't be absurd. Weiss's voice actor is goaded, actually. Sounds like we're no closer than we were before. Yeah. And did you both have Zamasu? That's gotta mean I was saying Zamasu. Zamasu? used his powers to discuss himself as Goku. Mm. I think there would need to be something else at play to explain their disparities. Yeah. And Zamasu in his head didn't even know what they were talking about. His energy could darken in the future if he harbors enough dangerous ideas. Like it's a fu it's a future timeline Zamasu. Wait! Wait, that actually makes sense! Fought Zamasu? I sure did. Have to say the timeline Trunks is from is still the same universe. Oh my god. It is Zamasu. And he just gets more and more evil. That's my play. But it still doesn't ex maybe he does disguise himself as Goku. Destroyer? Maybe I don't have to worry about getting stronger. He can take care of black. No, not by himself. Everybody together. My god. Vegeta's like, you're not thinking about him fighting him alone, right? Run, but thank the chef. Wait, no, yeah, this all makes sense now because it's from oh, Trunks' timeline. Oh my god. Who am I gonna get to fill the holes in my yard this time? Trunks just sitting in the dark. Come with me. Oh. It's time to train you for real. <gasps> no way you're gonna rely on Kakarot. No, yeah, I think I've got it. I think that makes sense. It doesn't have to be this Zamasu, but it is Zamasu, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm still lost. What is he watching? I love the soundtrack when it shows them, though. It's so ominous. What is that Pokemon? And Goas is just watching? He tastes a bit off today. Same kind as I always use. Is he, is he poisoning him? The Supreme Kai? Ay, Dios mio. Not long ago, a species of sentient bipeds evolved there. Oh my god! Bobbery don't, don't take nothing, man. Would it not 
be wise to deal with them now before they cause more problems? He's very on the nose now about his intentions. I mean, exterminate the entire species. God damn! It's the alternative. Let Human their species the figure things ever... out. We'll watch them for another millennium or so. A millennium? So, they'll never be civilized. You'll never know. I do know. <laughs> I do know. Gomasu has to realize Zamasu's like mind cannot be changed at this point. Then why don't we take a look? A look? Like, look into the future? With the time ring! And see how they end up. Are there any rules against them doing that? Hmm. Is this their file storage system? Oh no, yeah, there's the time rings. Why are there That's different ones? Also, someone on Patreon said that the, the upper ones aren't gold. What are they? They're gold. Silver and gold. Right? Jesus, man. I hope a thousand years from now, these creatures of Barbary are not so shackled. Imagine they're like insanely just refined. But there are distinct limitations. Oh. Wait. What about going to the past? Wait. Wait. And this is where he starts to starts to get the idea with the time ring. You remember the four emerald colored rings oh, that were emerald. Of course. It's gold. Which has produced a separate timeline. Oh. Reality. Okay. What does that mean? It is possible to affect the flow of time in a way that creates a parallel stream. That sounds like a it good setup for uh, spin-offs or like what ifs. The time rings only transport those with the full rank of Supreme Kai. Oh man. So no matter what happens, he's not gonna like care. Even if he comes back, he's like, oh yeah, they're great in the future. You may borrow one of mine. I will mm -hmm. promote you to Supreme Kai. Wait! Is this where it happens? Does he just go like full like evil right here? Want to join with me forever? <laughs> we'll travel that many years ahead. I feel like this is where it happens. He's gonna like well, I guess he doesn't have the time ring. He's just going with him. Well now, if the Bobbery like are like super distinguished and whatnot in the future and enlightened, then it would change his mind, but they won't be. Ooh, but they're still gonna be fighting. Yep, even a thousand years into the future. It's an interesting concept. I'll give them that. Give it like 10k, maybe. As long as mortals exist, the multiverse will have no. Peace. Yeah, this just this helps his point even more. You haven't trained me since back when Cell was on the loose. Remember? Of course not. You think I keep some kind of diary under my? Pillow? <laughs> I wanted Trunks to be like, I have a diary. Best Trunks hair right there. I mean, maybe that is the point of all of this is Trunks has to be at the point where he's strong enough to where he can fight Black all on his own. Maybe that's where it's headed. Super Trunks. You can spar with me at full strength. Cap. I even think Trunks gets clapped. Oh wait, yeah, he doesn't even know about Blue. <laughs> you fool, there's a new ceiling. Is that Vegeta and Trunks? Oh, I like how it woke him up. Uh, while it's true that Zamasu is a deity, he's only a supreme guy. And now he realizes how Goku fought him. But Goku wasn't even blue when he fought him. The question is, if Goku Black has like Zamasu's energy, then he can probably tap into that too, since it's a, it's a god. Buff trunks! Transformation, you can't change your hair color. Don't waste my time. Oh, it's a fake. That was pretty. I mean, he's got to think smarter, not harder, if he wants to be black. Damn. Damn. That is not a passing grade. Just watch, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> your husband and your son from the future are doing some training. <laughs> Dude, that sentence by itself. I like. Goku took the time to be like, oh, Bulma would want to see this. He's so caring. Yep. No, you, you guys learned your place, child. This kind of kills strong spirits even more, though. That he's not even close to being able to take on Black, let alone Vegeta or Goku or anyone. They can beat him. That's a sick shot. I like it. My own strength doesn't matter now. Vegeta senses this. Yeah. He doesn't want him to just crutch on them. He should be pissed that he's not strong enough. In a year or five or ten. Can't always come to them. I won't tolerate you losing to anyone. Damn. Damn. He's lost to everyone. What are you doing here? You're interrupting the moment, Kakarot. He knows he's right. Damn. So that counts as landing a blow, right? 
Aww. That means I win. Brother. Don't let your guard down. And I will get stronger. Stronger than Black. And stronger than you. Really? I don't know, man. That's how you answer your son by walking away? Are you serious, Bulma? You know who you married. He needed some sense knocked into him. <laughs> True. Who's a good stir fry? Aren't you done yet? Ooh, we just getting into some some stir fry cooking? I feel like he's learned a lot from Earth. Can't talk right now. Call him back, would you? Ah! Grand Zeno! Get on your knees, Beerus! <laughs> okay. Okay. Just destroy the table. Dude, Grand Zeno is my favorite character. I have no idea why. Why? Dude, I, I'm not shocked that he took a liking to Goku if he did. Because Goku's probably like the only mortal that's ever just like approached him so casually. Like we see how terrified at least Beerus is and everybody else that knows how powerful Zeno is. I mean, I haven't witnessed his power yet. I don't even know if you're supposed to just like straight up. You're just supposed to be scared of his potential. But yeah, Goku's just real with him and that's probably something he's never experienced before. I just like the way he talks. Like, yeah, it was an okay day, I guess. Just, just so casually. But an all around really good episode. Episode. I, I kind of think I'm starting to piece together how this is possible because I never even thought about, you know, the whole time travel being a part of things and the different timelines. But a good moment between Trunks and Vegeta as well. Vegeta doing his job. Maybe not in the most healthy way, but in a necessary one, maybe. I don't know. Like, like Bulma said, Trunks has been through enough. But that's been it from some more Dragon Ball Super. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.